Welcome back to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, we're going to be looking at some more uh, instrument plugins, uh, also called VST plugins. So VST, we can do a little search on it and see. I think it stands for yeah, Virtual Studio Technology. So it's just a, uh, this technology of creating virtual sounds. Um, it's used by lots of different uh, audio editors, digital audio workstations like LMMS. And um, so essentially, you can find more plugins than, than we have just here. And uh, a lot of times they're called VST instrument plugins. But essentially, it just gives you options. So the audio file, like we looked at last time, lets us bring in an audio file and then edit. Not, we can't change a whole lot with it. It basically just plays the audio at different speeds. Uh, these next ones we'll look at, like Bit Invader, for example, doesn't have an audio file. Instead, it just has a, a short wave that we edit to create a certain sound. And we can draw our own wave. Or we can click here and, you know, use some preset waves. Here's like a really random distortion one. It just sounds like a bunch of random noise. We can change the wavelength of this and make it sound a little bit smoother. And if we make the wavelength much, much shorter, then it just sounds, we can see it's a little more jagged and pixelated. And it's not going to sound as nice on our ears. So it's just the the wavelength and what this is essentially doing is taking this sample and repeating it over and over again very quickly to create a sound. So we're not bringing in an audio file, we're actually creating our own very very short audio file and looping it over and over again. And then it just plays it at different pitches to create that. And we can come down here now and we can double click and use it in our piano roll. And that's how we can create a uh, like a little yeah, a little song melody using that. And you see, it kind of has a very 8-bit sound, a very Nintendo, Atari kind of sound to it. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that. We'll remove this track. So what I really want to do in this video is just show you, go through a couple more of these and get you familiar with what's going on with them. I'll close out of these so we can focus more. This next one's called Free Boy. Uh, Free Boy sounds like this by default. So it has like also a very Nintendo Game Boy sound to it, right? It has these different channels. So we can do just channel one, for example. We were just listening to all channels right now, but if we do just channel one, it sounds like this. There's also channel two, which sounds like this. Oh no, this is channel, oh whoops. That's a right and left of channel one, I'm sorry. Channel two is like this, right and left, oops. Channel three sounds like this. And we can change the settings over here too. I'll show you to change that. And this is channel four. That's cool, right? You just hold down. And you can, it's different pitches too. Like this is like this the, the enemy spaceship flying away or whatever. Okay, if we want to change the way this sounds, so maybe we want this, we want to combine these two so it goes. So now it's playing those two sounds at once. Um, also, um, we can add in more bass here. We can add in some treble. We can control the left volume, so left volume might be a lot less than the right volume. Anyway, there's lots of different things we can do, adjustments we can make to change the overall. We can change the, the output volume all overall. Lots of different things we can do here. Um, yeah, so I just want to kind of show, demonstrate that. And then again, if we put this in our piano roll, it'll kind of sound, oops, like that. That's more for like sound effects, but you can create some cool, like these ones are more like musical notes. If we get rid of that stuff and then we replay this. Uh, what else do we have? Um, yeah, but just, so they're all different, right? So the three that we've looked at so far, if we click on them, they all three have a different interface. So even though they're a, a, an instrument plugin, they all have different ways of controlling them, different ways of changing the sound. These two are just taking some some predefined data and making, the, making that, adjusting the sound to make different uh, effects and sounds out of it. And this one lets you put in your own sound. Um, Let's look at one that we've already done in the past. If we bring up our beat and bass line editor, oh, I'm sorry, beat and bass line editor here, and we add in a beat and bass line. So this has a kicker. So we've looked at the kicker before, right? And we did this, we created this cool beat. 
Well, the kicker is an instrument. We can click on it too, and it also has its own settings. So it sounds like this by default. Remember where the square is over, over the key of that piano keyboard is the pitch that it's playing. That's the original. We can turn up the gain. We can turn up the length on this. And it changes the sound. I'm not sure what all these do. We can change these a lot. That's pretty cool, huh? So all these different things. Um, it's just going to be, we're not going to be able to, in the beat and bass line editor, we're not going to be able to change the, the, the note, the pitch of it, but it'll just be the same thing over again. And we made that way too long, so we need to turn, put that length like, whoa, back down to there. See? So we can kind of create, so we could bring in another kicker now to our beat and bass line, not into our song editor. I mean, we could put it in the song editor, but now this is going to be the, the default one. See, so this one sounds like this, this one sounds like this. And at the same time, that sounds like this. Okay, so this that's the kicker, and we can bring in as many as we want of this kicker instrument. So the kicker plays really nice with the beat and bass line editor. We could also bring the kicker into its own line and play it as if it was like a bunch of different drums. So we can do it that way as well. So, and vice versa, really. We actually could really bring in, if we go to our beat and bass line, oops, not that one, this existing one, and we, we could bring in uh, an audio file processor and have me saying hello on the, so last time I recorded this hello.wave file, we can bring it in of me saying hello. Hello. And we can play it at the end of like our thing. Hello. Hello. Oops. Hello. So you can bring anything into here and we could bring the bit invader in and have it be, it'll just sound like this by default. Hello. Ooh, starting to get too much stuff going on there. But what I want to illustrate by doing that is that we can do in our beat and bass line editor and in our song editor, we can bring any of these instruments, uh, instrument plugins into either one. I guess one thing I want to differentiate too, I kind of touched on this in the last video, but these instrument plugins are kind of the building blocks, kind of just the program. It's sort of like a, yeah, it's like, it's like a little program that lets us control the way it sounds. It's like this Bit Invader, we have the different settings for it. But don't get that confused with like when we go to My Samples and we go to the folder called Instruments, this folder of instruments is different. This organ is not a VST. It's not an instrument plugin. It's just a recording of one note of an organ. And this flute is a recording of one note of a flute. And to turn this into like kind of a, a virtual instrument, we bring it into our audio file processor. Or rather, actually, it, it does that by default for us if we remove this, uh, if we just where'd I go? If we grab the flute and left click and drag it in, it brings it in under the audio. It already by default uses the audio file processor to process this. And then we can do different notes of it. Uh, I don't think I want to get too, too crazy, but go ahead and play with the rest of these and maybe I'll demonstrate some more of these as we get into it. There's some really cool ones. So I'll demonstrate some more of these as it's applicable, but go ahead and just play with these. Drag, drag in the mallet, you know, see what the mallet sounds like. See what different options, you know, play around with it, change it. Don't worry about these other tabs. So these other tabs are gonna be pretty constant throughout all of our different instrument plugins, but this first tab is gonna be the plugin settings that we can change, you know, how this one actually works. So play with these different plugins, go through all of them and see what you can, different instruments you can make out of just using an instrument plugin without doing like bringing in a recorded audio file. Play with that, get familiar with it, and uh, yeah, leave your comments, questions below if you have any, and I hope to see you in the next video.